Yo, Josh, how's summer league so far? First first game, we had a solid win. We fought back, but uh, I mean, the second game was a tough loss. I mean, we got we got killed. But I mean, it's all a learning experience. Yeah, definitely. I feel like us us losing like that was like good for our mental, obviously, because we won yesterday. Big Marco carried us, you know. We had a or not yesterday, the other day, and. We was all on top of the world. So us losing like that it just shows like what the NBA is like. I know Malcolm and Marco could really speak on that one. A lot of different games, a lot of games, and you just got a quick turnaround, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure y'all probably more comfortable than us, like out there, like far just seeing the floor and just like just reading different options. Yeah, like you said, it's two different games. Like the first one it was like up and down a little bit, you know, but we we was back and like we get a win and that's important in the end, you know. All we can control is the next game, honestly. So like, we gonna get this done tomorrow. I mean, nobody gonna think about that that, that loss. You feel me? And then even if we don't, we go out there and fight. We go in the next one. Anybody remember them two losses? So it's just like, yeah, short term memory loss. That's what I've really picked up from summer league because that's just it's just mini NBA really. So let's go out there and fight. Like this is an opportunity just for to learn, especially and grow. as a team and grow. Yeah. Because I mean, get better. Exactly. We had a good film session. We cleaned up some things. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like this will be an opportunity for us to show how good of a team we really are. Because yeah. a lot of teams, when they get in that situation, especially new teams, when they lose big like that, we crumble. I felt like today in practice, like, came and together. even in film, we came together. Yeah. And, some and I don't know about y'all, uh, but me and Justin, you know, we come from college, so we just still trying to get used to the game and stuff. So like, like I. Like y'all, y'all helped me more because y'all been out there, y'all been in NBA games before, and y'all just know a little stuff that we don't know. So it's just great to have y'all with experience, been in the summer league before, and just giving us all your knowledge. Yeah, I ain't, and I ain't even gonna lie, it, it, it feels like it feels like a little challenging and hard, but I mean, like, I mean, it's just like a steps in the right direction, like. Yeah. Just learning. Yeah, we bro, rookies, think, so. Yeah, I think everyone of us, bro, living our dreams, you know, playing in, in NBA, bro, for sure. It's gonna be your first year, you for sure. It's in a two way, you know. You're gonna be a couple games for sure, but <clears throat> be living our dreams. That's 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 important, you know. How we how we improve, how we take care of our body, how we practicing, how we how we like be professional. That's the, the mo I, that's what I think. How how to be professional. That's that's so important. We in the NBA now. We getting paid to play basketball. Something that we love to do. Forget it. Just go ahead. <laughs> but like it's difficult. Like to get back for the for for the loose game like yesterday. You know, yeah. it's like it was tough. A really really tough play against the, the the team like New York. But you need to respond on the on the right way tomorrow. Be ready. Now get back square and guard the ball. Y'all all can guard the ball well. Now and you got a shift back here. You know that's gonna help you. So like don't give them any angles. JB like. Last year it was my first year in, in, in the NBA. He's an assistant coach and like he helped me a lot, like with talking and everything, you know, to feel to feel me better and uh, to understand more. And uh, <clears throat> now he's a head coach, and I think he 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 is doing the the good job like a head coach. And I think we're gonna we're gonna do like good things on the court, like what, what how he how he teach us and and, and everything, you know and. I think it's gonna be good, like next next couple of games, and just just work and it be 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 together and be like a team, like he said. Coach JB, he, I mean, our relationship grow grew as training camp kept getting longer and longer. And now into summer league, I mean, he got to the point where now I could just look at him and he, I could tell exactly what he's gonna say. So, I mean, he's a great coach, man. He he's out there helping us. I mean, I'm new to this, so I know me and Justin really just be out there like. So sometimes he just be bringing us back in and helping us understand what the concept is, what the play is, and just echoing different sayings and speeches. He's he's a coach too, but I look at look at him as somebody I can talk to as well. Just like how uh, I mean, he's just real cool, just re uh, laid back. He tell you what you need to grow on. He help you in certain areas, and uh, just the way I like how he uh, just appreciate everybody around him, like his uh, coach, like the coaches and stuff. Because I mean, ultimately, that's that's I feel like that's that's true. Um, like it, it's like a like a team, their team, we're a team, and like they just grow together. They learn from each other. So what he said this morning, like he said, I really thinking about you guys, not about myself, you know. Mm -hmm. And like that's like I think how the coach need yeah. to, to, to to show, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. Show, to show to his player yeah, what he wanna do. And the one thing that I think he does a really good job is, is 
He says the message the right way. He gonna tell you you wrong, but he ain't gonna tell you. He ain't gonna not say shoot that, that shot. Oh, yeah. He ain't gonna say don't shoot it. Like you turn it over, what you doing? He not gonna MF you. He, he gonna be like, look, you messed up. Work from it, like you learn from it. Like, it's another play, the next play. Work yes. on the next play. Yes. So like, very optimistic. He ain't on some like, you shouldn't have done this. He's yeah. on some like, you could have done this better. Yep. Yes. You feel me? And it's on yeah. you to understand what you did wrong and grow from it. Saying, um, this is first time being a head coach. And like, so this is our first uh, summer league. So I mean, we we all grown together, you know? So, I mean, honestly, uh, just just me and Malcolm. Uh, I remember the first day uh, I got to the facility. We we connect we connected, man. Like, uh, and I appreciate that. Just uh, and we got kind of like similar paths. And I mean, like, I just feel like you're a resource and outlet to me. And I just I admire everything you do for. Real. I just like the way you move and the way you play hard and you take care of your body. I mean, shit. Terry feeding Lewis on the flush. I mean, I admire the way Justin just always finds a way to get a crazy dunk in the game. You know. First game, you know, I threw him a dime. He caught a body early in the game, and then yesterday he caught a the backdoor dunk. It was a momentum changer for sure. So that's what I like about Justin game. Also, I can talk about Malcolm. I know him like from the from the from the last year, and know uh, we are like a brothers now, you know, because he's a really good guy, and I really like him because he pushed me, he he teach me everything, you know, what I need, and uh, every every day we talk about uh, about something, you know. On the court, out of the court, he's a really good guy. Also, I, I really like the, what um, DT is doing. Like he's he's gonna be leader, you know. He wanna push everybody on the court and how we if we if we lose, you know, and something like that. He wanna he wanna teach us how we need to to react, how we need to be next game. And I really like that. Also, Justin, it's nice guy, you know. On the court, he 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 wanna do the the, the, the good things, and I really like I really like you guys. I, DT, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Just playing, just playing with you, man. Like, yeah, your energy is like unmatchable. Like, as far as like, I always been the person who, um, like, like just pre in college, like just bringing up my teammates and like, you, you bring me up. Like, you make me try to reach your level, your intensity. So and that, and then that, and that like energy, that energy is just like a domino. Like, it makes everybody just want to follow. Justin, he's a dude that's very versatile. Plays way bigger than his size. He shoots. Rebound, plays physical, very good on defense. And Marco, Marco is just a beast, man. Man, I was like, just in my mind was like, I want to I wanna get this win, you know. Half a minute to go. Strip to the basketball. Pulls a chance to tie or take the lead. It's a tie on the jam by Marco Simonovic. When I done, when I did, did it, I was like flexing and, you know, show everybody then we can win this game, bro. <laughs> Billy Donovan was like, Billy Donovan was like. He's running back left. <laughs> BD set up like, oh snap! <laughs> you see it on the TV. I was like, oh wow. Yeah, we're talking like about each other now, but all the guys, I think so. We are a good group of guys, you know. Everybody in the in the in the team, even the coaches. Yeah, I even feel like, coaches I mean, also. Yeah. yeah, like down to every last person in the staff, like everybody. Even like, like even everybody, everybody with the program, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, the organization, crazy. man. Everybody in the organization, we need everybody. We we not who we are without everybody in the organization for real. So we appreciate y'all. Uh, Malcolm, you you playing a similar position to me. Um, what was your biggest takeaway on your first like opportunity in the league and just trying to try to make it stick? I mean. The one thing that you want to show and how to stick in this league is to show that you're a professionalism in yeah. every aspect. How do you show up prepared? How do you show up ready? Yeah, that's definitely an area of growth for me. Just I mean, I feel like I got it like on the court, just putting in the work, just taking care of my body, treatment, uh, diet. You know, so for me it was difficult, you know, because it's like everything it was new for me, you know, and yeah. people, everyone here, except Wuch, and uh, like they, they they told me on the beginning, you need to ask a question. If you don't understand something, if if, if it's not something clear, you know, every time ask us, ask us. That's so important. That's so important. Sure. Yeah. Professionalism will carry you to the finish line in this business, because just showing that you want to get better and showing that you care, that's gonna carry you so far. Promise, promise, promise. I believe it just raises the the level of competition, like or competitiveness, because it's just like I know when I fired up, it made Justin like, oh snap, like I gotta pick it up, and then Malcolm already in that situation. And when you at the free throw like this? Yeah, so it's like, like if he ever look in a certain way, I'm gonna look at him like, come on. So it's just like that's just my way of just making sure everybody locked in and everybody's 
just as happy as me to be on, on the court because I feel like we got a chance and if and if we take it for granted then it's gonna be gone. So I mean we just gotta live and be in the moment. So that's my biggest thing and I feel like I did that to Marco a few times and I mean you see what he did the first game. So. Like first game I think bro he puts a lot of energy you know during the games like we was down and sometimes you know he was up in the beginning of the game but after that he was up and down up and down but the, the energy was on the high level because of that I think so we, we got the win in the end. Yeah my biggest thing too is I just try to be the loudest person in the gym especially when it's like the free throws and it get real quiet I want to be the person everybody here so my message is through the whole gym so even though my teammates here the other team here everybody in the stands here so it's just just to raise that level of competition and competitiveness through, through all Las Vegas. <laughs> like my, my favorite part about Vegas is like play the games for sure, like be part of this organization, it's amazing. And also like Malcolm said, like you can you can met like, you can see a lot of people here, like basketball players, like coaches, everyone in, in, in the one place, you know, and that's so, that's so crazy, you know, you can see every player who come to, to see their teams and that's so important, I think for, 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 for the, the rookies, like, like I was last year, like, DT is now and also J. Lou. Um, my favorite part about Vegas is just uh, being like with the guys, you know what I mean? Being with guys that like, I mean, if we're going to go through some wars and battles together, just getting to know y'all um, and just hanging with y'all, bro. Like, and, and just uh, also and just be, having my family here is watching me play because I'm, I'm busy on the road a lot. They get to see me, so. I've been dreaming about being in summer league all my life. I've been watching it every year, so. For me to be a Chicago Bull doing it, it just made me just, it's really surreal. Me doing it with guys that I love and my brothers, it just makes it, everything just better. And obviously just being just on the big stage now, like, I mean, it ain't no stage higher than the NBA. So we, this is just a little taste of it and just being able to learn and being in Vegas is one of the best cities in America, so.